Today we look at the NBA if every key player was reset to be a rookie. By key player, I mean every dude in the league above a 75 overall. And by rookie, I, well, I, I mean I mean a rookie. That makes sense. The best players in the NBA are now 18-year-old LeBron James, Wemby, Evan Mobley, Anthony Davis. And you get the picture. It's, it's pretty obvious. I plucked every player above a 75 overall out of their draft class and replaced their current version in the NBA. While building this roster off rip, two teams stuck out as true heavyweights in my my opinion lebron ad that's the best duo in the game uh d'lo rui tari uh, torian prince is still there as a 75 overall jackson hayes was a 75 as a rookie uh they could do some damage the second team i think could be a heavyweight the cleveland cavaliers like i said mobley a top five player in the game donovan mitchell 79 from his draft class uh jared allen that same year 2017 18 whatever it was um they could be pretty good. there were also two teams which i'm calling surprisingly bad on paper joe well, only got a 77 overall from the 2014 draft class. Tobias Harris there, a 76. Not much else. Kyle Lowry get kind of disrespected. Tyrese Maxey too. And right next to them in the East, the Bucks. Giannis, you get it, right? He was what, the 15th or 13th overall pick? Uh, still a 77, I guess, isn't horrible. But uh, yeah, Dame's not that great either. They're going to need to develop here. And finally, I want to point out two teams that don't seem very balanced, but if they figure it out, will be so fun. I mean, the Grizzlies with rookie. Derek Rose and rookie John Moran. Um, two point guards, it probably won't work, but if it does, and copy paste that logic exactly to the Golden State Warriors with rookie Steph Curry and rookie CP3 from way back in 2005. I think, man, he's so old. I, I don't know if it'll work out with Clay with Wiggins, but, but again, if it does, that could be fun. Averaging a clean 31, 9, and 5, 18 year old Kevin Durant was the one and only story of our first season. He took home MVP for the Suns a roster I wasn't too psyched about, to be honest. Additionally, KD won Defensive Player of the Year after averaging near four stocks a game. And they also tossed him a Clutch Player of the Year too. Sure, why not? In a year chalk full of rookies, Victor Wembanyama would still take home Rookie of the Year. Um, I'm not sure exactly how they determined that, but he did have a good season. Turning back the clock and sliding into a new role seemed to work out for DeMar DeRozan. He nabbed Sixth Man of the Year for the Chicago Bulls. Also for the Bulls, Andre Drummond. I I I'm not sure how most improved would have been scored in a season like this, but uh, he did put up big numbers, so fair enough. KD obviously highlighted all NBA first, along with our pair of Lakers and a pair of point guards, Trey Young and Derrick Rose. Let's go. All NBA second, led by the Mavs duo, Luka Kyrie. Makes sense. There's uh, Victor, of course, Ben Simmons benefiting from the reset big time, and Nikola Jokic, of course. A fun mix of current day young and old on third team, Giannis and Steph are in there, along with Paulo, uh, Scoot looking good in this universe, LaMelo Ball, okay. And allow me to just point out that uh, TJ McCollum made all defensive first team. This video is officially a success. Moving along the, wow, the Eastern Conference was so tight. Atlanta was the one seed with 46 wins. We, yeah, that is parody. Okay, uh, Detroit made the playoffs. Indiana, Orlando, Toronto. Look at all the teams that are, oh, Ben Simmons couldn't lead the Nets to any Ws. Neither could LaMelo Ball. Uh, like I said, Giannis and the Bucks were bad. Joel and the Sixers too. The Bulls, all those accolades missed the playoffs and same did the Celtics. That's kind of surprising. Of course, teams have to miss the playoffs. Only eight can make it. A uh, shout out to the Pistons, man. Rookie Cade, rookie James Wiseman. Ah, uh, yeah, that's actually an upgrade for him. This is a solid roster. I cannot lie about that. The West was a little bit less balanced. Sacramento at 55 wins atop the conference. There's AD and LeBron, KD and the Suns, Steph and the Warriors. Um, yeah, all the old dudes turning back the clock uh, obviously benefited them. Houston and San Antonio. Antonio slipped in. Missing the playoffs, Utah, the Clippers, what? With Kawhi and Paul, jo Jokic and the Nuggets, Luka and Kyrie. Wow, that just escalate. Those are some good teams. I was just escalating in my shock that they missed the playoffs. I mean, the Clippers, rookie Kawhi, James Harden, Russ, Paul George, nah, nah, that's a playoff roster. I don't know what's going on. League leaders, I cannot argue with KD winning MVP. The Suns were two seed. He led the league in scoring, was probably up there in rebounds, two, five assists per game, great season. Kyrie, even though the uh, Mavs missed the playoffs was second in scoring. There's Trey Young. There's LeBron. 
wow. G Gordon Hayward. I think the Thunder missed the playoffs, but that's a big season for Gordon and Derrick Rose. And you just love to see. It. But let's do it, man. Let's start weeding out some of these playoff teams. This is a look at the bracket in round one. There were a couple surprises in round one. Sacramento needed seven games to hold off Victor. Yeah, that's tough. The uh, Pelicans took down MVP KD in round one. Wow. Like I mentioned earlier, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Suns, th this roster is not that great. They obviously exceeded expectations. Uh, a couple guys progressing, some of these veterans, but uh, their young dudes couldn't get past round one. Well, over in the East, Atlanta, man, they are cooking. So are the Knicks. The Heat makes sense. The Pacers, though, upset Evan Mobley and the Cleveland Cavaliers. That was a team I thought was, that, what did I call them, a heavyweight? Um, I was lying, okay? You f idiot. Hey, friends, real quick, just wanted to shout out my sponsor, Underdog Fantasy. Every night, every sport, Underdog has action you can get in on to enhance your sports watching. I mean, with certain scorchers, you could earn 100 times your money in a night. What? Obviously, no pressure from me, guys, but if you were considering diving into Underdog, why not support me and my channel? Use code JCANLINK and more info is down below. Okay, I'll shut up. Wow, so our West final is all set. The five-seed Houston Rockets are on a mission and uh, AD LeBron, they're getting it done for LA. The Rockets let Cam Whitmore. Wow, he's obviously progressed to an 81. I think he was like a 78 from the draft class with uh, Jabari Smith, Jalen Green, Alperin Shengu. Oh, they're only going to get better too. Well, like every team's going to get better because they're, they're all rookies, but like Houston has a lot. That's my point. Over in the East though, round two, we have a pair of game sevens, Miami, Indiana, shades of the uh, early 2010s. You know, like LeBron in the Heat versus Paul George in the Pace. A anyways. Oh, this is all all young Jimmy and the Heat. Tyrese Halliburton had nothing for him. Oh, <laughs> was, yo, I credited Jimmy, but it was all Kevin Love. Are you serious? My man K-Love from the 2008 draft class at a 70. They don't even have an 80 overall. K-Love carried in game seven. Wow. Speaking of game sevens, a rivalry. Trey Young at Madison Square. Well, he's not at Madison Square Garden. Anyways, at some point during the series, Trey Young played at Madison Square Garden. Let's just move on. And we'll move on to another blowout. Trey Young at at home took care of business as we do have our east and west finals matchups lakers rockets okay atlanta miami the one two seed even though that eastern conference had so much parity we still get the one and two seed coming out of it a quick look trey young is cooking in the playoffs leading the league with 30 points a game zion was putting up numbers although he lost same with kd same with scoot looks like anthony davis is carrying that fraud lebron oh no oh lebron i was kidding i I'm calling you a fraud was a joke now you're tied three three i do think what i was mentioning earlier Houston in year two, uh, they're going to be much better. So uh, you might, you got to get your win against them here, LA. Oh my, oh no, they're going to need a miracle right here. Rookie LeBron AD, they're down. LeBron, uh, LeBron stepping back, passing out of a shot. He probably had a lane to the rim. They need a couple buckets and they need them ASAP. Jalen Hood, Sh uh, Shafino, Scafino, however you say his name. <laughs> He's getting minutes here in the clutch. He's probably one of their best point guards. LeBron getting boxed, I fear. Oh, he sold. He sold. Cam Whitmore. Oh my goodness. The Lakers passed on drafting Cam. Cam Whitmore, well, so did a lot of teams, but the Lakers specifically in this uh, past year's draft and now in this alternate rookie timeline. Oh, LeBron just dribbled out of it. Unbelievable. That is why you should have drafted Cam Whitmore, I guess. LeBron and the Lakers came up small. It was indeed Miami advancing to the finals out the East. I shouldn't be too shocked because overall wise, most of these teams are pretty tight together, except for the Lakers with their duel. Uh, looks like Kevin Love and Jimmy Butler are just playing very solid. Tyler Hero coming off the bench, giving you 18 a game. The Hawks have that star power. Wait a minute. Trey Young's only a set. Trey Young, I thought he was like low 80s with the numbers he was producing. Um, yeah, this is just a battle. Who wants it more, I guess? Okay, and uh, yeah, hashtag heat cultured there up 3-1. Well, that was easy. I fear this might be a little anticlimactic for the Rockets, uh, or it could be the greatest comeback other than 2016 we've ever seen. Okay, they're gonna take a game 105-99. Miami back at home. Dude, you don't choke now, Jimmy and Kevin. Oh, they aren't choking. They aren't choking. They're up six uh, just under a minute left. One more bucket here. This game's over. Kevin Love from the post fading with the dagger. With the dagger, Kevin Love. I did not see that storyline come. Wow, dude. I would have had to scroll through so many teams before getting to the heat for me to uh, stop and say, yeah, this roster could win a championship in this video. I, I did not see this coming at all. But led by Jimmy Butler and Kevin Love, that heat culture, baby, it's just too strong. Year one, it is the Miami Heat taking home the championship. And it's Kevin Love finishing off a phenomenal season, 23 and 11. 11 finals MVP. There you go. And here we go into year two with, uh, oh, 
so much chaos, including LeBron James, now 19 years old, signing with the Raptors, teaming up with Scotty Barnes? Uh, sure, I guess. We had a second massive free agent move. Uh, Victor Wembanyama, now an 89 overall best player in the league, is being joined by Paul George. Okay, I love that for Victor and the Spurs. And our third insane free agent move, the OKC Thunder pickup, finals MVP Kevin Love. What's he doing leaving Miami? They've got way too many big... Oh, they also grabbed DeAndre Jordan. Crazy. Elsewhere, Golden State is developing like crazy. Steph in 88, CP3 in 87. KD won MVP last year. Now Beal and Booker are both plus 80. Uh, KD up to an 86. The Pistons are high key cooking. Cade, Ivy, Wiseman, Thompson, and they added Gordon Hayward. Finally, I wouldn't be surprised if the uh, Nuggets take a step this season. Jokic for MVP. Uh, Jamal and Aaron Gordon both developing nicely. Let's go. The decision to take his talents to the Great White North paid off as in year two, LeBron took home MVP for the Toronto Raptors. Clearly undeterred by LeBron leaving him in LA, Anthony Davis posted a monster stat line grabbing DPOY in the process. I had noticed Clay Thompson bolted from Golden State. He averaged 24 points a game as the lead option next to Embiid in Philly, uh, most improved award winner. And speaking of things I hadn't noticed earlier, Rookie of the Year is Bronny James with the Toronto Raptors. I didn't even, that's why LeBron went there. Uh, one year older than his son and both winning awards. There you go. By the way, Bronny isn't even that juiced on this roster. 73 overall. How did he win rookie of the year? That's crazy. All NBA first team uh, older LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Nikola Jokic, Steph Curry, and Kevin Durant. Okay. Second team looks pretty stock. I see CP3 in there this year. Victor, not first team, is kind of shocking. And on third team, Kawhi, Paulo, there's Cat, Giannis, Ben Simmons continues to dominate individually. And this is why I didn't notice him earlier. He's not even on the first page of the Raptors, but he, wow, he's their only rostered point guard. <laughs> It's hilarious how that just worked out. And it did indeed work out for the Raps. They were first in the Eastern Conference. 59 wins. Great season. I mentioned Detroit earlier. They're up there. Paulo and the Magic. Clay Thompson and Bede and the Sixers made the playoffs. So did Ben Simmons. After winning the finals last season, it is the Miami Heat just missing out. Of course, they lost Kevin Love. It makes sense. Speaking of Kevin Love, his Thunder, I see their seventh spot. They did make the playoffs. Portland and the Pelicans kind of running away with the West, really. Missing the playoffs. Kawhi and the Clippers, Jokic and the Victor, Paul George and the Spurs. What? The Suns with uh, Kevin Durant? Wow. This Trailblazer squad, DeAndre Ayton. Uh, looking like uh, the right pick first overall, 2018, playing with Scoot Henderson, Matisse Thibel. I mean, yeah, that's a pretty good roster. First in the West, though? I don't know. Either way, that's what happened. This is our playoff bracket for year number two. What kind of chaos are we in store for? Oh, <laughs> well, well, how about that Portland team I was just doubting? Losing in round one, the one versus eight matchup. Sacramento advances. Memphis beat Dallas. Uh, the Pels and Golden State both advance. Uh, what are the Kings about here? Harrison Barnes leading the way. De'Aaron. Aaron Fox, Keegan Murray, Trey Lyles, Demonis Sabonis, not even an 80 overall yet. Wow, they they upset the first seed. Okay. Over in the East, Ben Simmons and the Nets eliminated by the LeBrons. Trey and the Hawks are back in contention. Indiana and Cleveland. First time seeing the Pacers here. Okay, Tyrese Howell, but no, they went to a game seven last season, I think in round one. No, that was round two. Okay, so this team has been pretty good. Their roster not outstanding. Oh no, what? The LeBron James is, is, is got so swept in the second round. That is not good. Uh, Cleveland beat Indiana. We've got just a single game seven in round two. It is the Pels. It is Golden State. This is a good series, man. CP3, Steph, they might finally be figuring it out. Zion, Brandon Ingram in New Orleans. And I thought we were going right down to the wire, but Golden State with a 60, a 14 point advantage in the fourth quarter to pull away. As our conference finals matchups are set, the Sacramento Kings swept Memphis in round two. We've got a three versus eight seed matchup there a three and four in the East Cleveland Atlanta. I just realized I didn't show player leaders from the regular season. LeBron finished third in scoring one MVP. Doesn't matter. He's been swept out of the playoffs. Steph and Trey first and second. They are still alive. Speaking of which playoff leaders, Scoot Henderson is doing work in this timeline. Uh, didn't lead to W's. Uh, Trey Young is just killing it. Zion lost out in round two, but looks like a stud. Unfortunately, no clutch finishes in the conference finals as we skip right here to see Steph winning West finals MVP and Darius Garland winning it in the East. But what's this? The Sacramento Kings are in the NBA. Fi <laughs> 
<laughs> what? I very quickly saw the results to that series flash before I thought I was seeing things because Steph won West Finals MVP. Yeah, he's putting up good numbers, I guess. But they weren't astronomical and the Kings won in six. Wow, this is a balanced roster. Nobody averaging 20 a game. I mean, you got to give that to uh, Keegan Murray, man. NBA, show some love. We love to see this though, a completely different finals matchup in year two. Who was it in, uh, in year one? It was the Rockets and Heat. Yeah, we've got completely different different teams wouldn't have seen this coming for sacramento oh my gosh but here they are up three two this is what an insane run an eight seed without a clear superstar at all against evan mobley maybe the best player in the league can they finish it off uh, looks like mobley and the Cavs are gonna whoa 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 that got close that that got that, that that was very close but the cleveland cavaliers do hold on hold on one second i haven't uh, i haven't looked at their full roster in a minute mobley mitchell garland and Jarrett allen i thought they would get a bit better a bit quicker but that duo this should be enough to take home a game seven at home indeed the Cavs duo did dominate for about three quarters as cleveland carried a lead most of the way in game seven but the kings were relentless using their balance and strength to muscle their way back in into this thing and it is now a tie game with under two minutes left oh my word this is insane donovan mitchell evan moby they have the star power does cleveland can they get buckets and stops down the stretch donovan pulls up contest he had an open look before that cleveland could kill some clock here have a two for one uh what's most important obviously they get a good shot donovan mitchell yes he's got space he could have gone and dunked that wait hold the oh, garland wide open and he sold oh you, you're not gonna get a better look than that back in transition that's keegan murray slicing to the rim fox finds him and the kings are back up donovan mitchell don't don't be passive donovan go to the rim go to me uh ooh. <laughs> okay well evan mobley's very good i i guess that was a good time to dish off. Darren Fox had some daylight there. He's going to pass up. JaVel McGee, the old man, setting him a screen. Fox pulling up. Nope. Hey, and he missed it. Okay. Uh, Bobby Portis from full. <laughs> he almost hit that. Jumping ahead. We are in OT. Cleveland is now up two points. It's Cavs. Uh, sorry, it's Kings ball. Man, these two teams are so even. How is Sacramento at eight? Oh, there it is. Keegan Murray wide open. Dude, teams are missing wide open looks. Okay. Will they get a shot at redemption? They're not going to have a more open look than what we just saw. De'Aaron, though, can't be contained on that pick and roll drive. Tie game again, Cleveland. Y'all y'all gotta do it, Darius Garland. If you get a good look, you can't smoke it this time. He could have sealed this game probably in uh, in regulation. Donovan Mitchell going past. Oh, JaVale with the D. They're going to their man, Keegan Murray. He's made a few clutch plays. <gasps> he just threw a lob to Colby Joe. <laughs> the ball's on this dude, man, and it worked. Exact same situation as regulation here. Uh, probably like the same amount of time on the clock, too. The Cavs need a bucket to tie a three. Uh, puts him in the lead. Oh, there it is. Darius Garland shot a redemption wide open from the wing. He missed another one. I can't believe it. De'Aaron Fox hit both free throws. It is still technically here for Cleveland. Game seven at home. Can they do it? It's going to be... Uh, what? Oh, the little look. Darius Garland off the drop pass. <laughs> he can't get it to go. Horrible execution. Nah. Nah. Nah, Darius Garland. I know you're glitched, but you can't be doing that, brother. An upset of gargantuan proportions. The eight seed Sacramento Kings win our championship in year two. He Keegan Murray, 25 and 10, wins finals MVP. Darius Garland celebrated with the wrong team after selling in the clutch. That's just the 2K24 experience, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's very quickly simulate one more season. I gotta see. Wow, it. year three, Paul George jetted from the Spurs, but they picked up Jason Tatum, that duo. They've got to make some noise here. Best players in the league in this timeline, LeBron, 93, Victor, AD, Chris Paul, Luka, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry. What's it gonna look like? There it is. Steph Curry, 30 points. 10 assists per game wins MVP. I asked for it and Victor finally stepped up at least to make first team all NBA. Wow, what a scoring title race. Uh, Steph Curry just outscoring uh, Dame Lillard, 30.3. He's finally developed for the Bucks. Indiana, Tyrese Halliburton and company first seed in the East. Wow, LeBron and the Raptors kind of fell off. The West is a bloodbath though. The Pels up there, Steph and the War. No, no. Victor Tatum and the Spurs missed the playoffs. It's over. It's really over. We're off to round two. Zion and the Pels, they look like a heavyweight. Steph and Golden State are still in there. LeBron and the Raptors advanced to round two as a four seed. Okay. Okay. We've got a West Finals of Zion and the Pels taking on Steph and Golden State. LeBron, we could have Steph versus LeBron in the finals. Shoo, this man Steph is carrying 30.4 points a game, 11 assists for Golden State. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't even notice. They lost Chris Paul. Okay. 
they but they gained Keegan Murray. He's an NBA champ. No wonder they're doing so well. Okay. Uh, in quick order, though, uh, Golden State's run is over. I'm sorry, Steph. It was a magical year, but not meant to be. In year number three, the New Orleans Pelicans have been a buzzsaw. Zion, Brandon Ingram, they picked up DeJounte Murray. Dyson Daniels is up to an 83 overall. Okay, um, I do see the vision with them. And despite kind of a lackluster regular season, LeBron James, Scotty Barnes, uh, RJ Barrett, they picked up Matisse Thibel. Brody James is down there as a 76. Uh, they're overmatched on paper, I cannot lie. But with LeBron James, anything is possible, and they've got two of them. Okay, 3-2. Can the Raptors extend the series? They were down 2-0, by the way. My word, we've got another, a second straight Game 7 of the NBA Finals. In two straight years, Toronto does but it. can they complete the comeback against the number one seed in the entire NBA? Oh my goodness. Third quarter, they're up 20. Oh, what? The Pels were perfect on paper. Dude, dude, that's a choke. Zion, that's a choke. My bad. I literally couldn't have jumped into this game any later. Yes, LeBron Sr. is a 93 overall. Best player on the court, but Zion was a 90. He had a great supporting cast, but it wasn't enough. We got another glitch celebration, so I really didn't even need to jump into the game. The Toronto Raptors win year number three. LeBron James Sr. wins finals MVP 26-7-6 and six in the series. I reset the NBA and made every key player a rookie. We saw Kevin Love on the Heat, then Keegan Murray on the Kings, and finally LeBron on the Raptors come away as champions. Let me know what you thought of the video. This one was so fun. I, it was very unpredictable. Uh, give me other video ideas you want to see down below and uh, check out another one from my channel.